Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Your Review Channel. So listen, if you try to upload to YouTube with a share feature, it's missing. Yes, the YouTube feature is now missing with the new 10.5.1 update with Final Cut Pro X. There's a new way of doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Let's get into the video. I'm bummed. I don't know about you. Let's go. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Your Review Channel. Do appreciate you tuning in as always. So listen, if you're using Final Cut Pro and you notice that the share button is missing when you try to upload a video, you're not alone. There was an update recently and they took that away. I guess this could be some compliance issue with uploading directly from the software. I'm not really sure. So you're not losing your mind. I couldn't find any videos about this. I don't think I'm losing my mind, but if you upgraded your Final Cut Pro uh, to the newest version, and it's a very, very small update, but they took that away. So the share feature directly from Final Cut directly to uh, YouTube, especially that's what I do a lot of, is gone. And let's take a look at the version here. So if you update it, let's take a look at it about uh, Final Cut Pro. And you'll see this is version 10.5.1. So this is the newest version. Uh, it was just automatically downloaded and it, it didn't, it just kind of surprised me. I'm working on this project here. And I'm saying, where is my share button? The share button's missing. So now instead of sharing to YouTube, that's no longer there. So you don't have credentials. It doesn't do any of that. What you have to do basically now is compress and put the file on your, your desktop or wherever you want to put the file. And then go to your actual channel, either YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're doing your, your, your video for, and you have to save it in the format and file that you want, and then get it prepared almost uh, like the old way. You usually put it on your desktop and you have to upload it manually, kind of like that, instead of integrated into the software. So I was kind of like bummed out about that. You know, I was like, oh man, it's like, this is, it was so easy just to click over here, right? And it, it was like the YouTube. Now it's called YouTube and Facebook. So when you click on that, now it brings up this, this box here. So basically it's encoding it uh, and you can go into the specific settings. And what you have to do here is just go to your settings, all right? And then you can control what you're doing here, however you shot your footage, right? So that's a shot on HD. Uh, then you get the faster encoding. There isn't too much more to do within, within here. Um, I, I guess you can do export captions and um, I guess. So basically you have to dump, you know, basically burn the file. Uh, on your desktop, right? And so basically you have to take 635 megabytes and download it to your, to your hard drive or wherever you're gonna put it, right? So that's more storage you need. Uh, then, but in the same respect, you do have the actual file itself, okay? The actual, the hard copy, which is, I guess is okay. Um, and then you can use it for wherever you want at that point, instead of just sharing it directly. So it's an extra step as far as I'm concerned. So I used to just click share, it'd go up and I'd be done with it. Now I have to shit, uh, uh, click next, uh, process the file, put it where I wanna put it, and uh, you know, you just basically put it to your desktop. That's what I usually do. I put it right to my desktop. Um, I guess you could put it to your iCloud Drive if you want to, which I wouldn't do that. Uh, I would just put it to my desktop and then go from there. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. Let me know if there's another way to share directly. I'd appreciate that. Uh, I couldn't find anything. I think they took that away. Uh, so I just want to bring this to your attention. So if you don't see the YouTube share thing, you're not losing your mind. It's it just, it's just gone. Uh, so they have this new way of doing it. It's just the export uh, right here if you can see it uh, YouTube and Facebook you see that and if you don't see it there just go to add destinations um, and then you'll click on that and you'll see it down here there used to be the YouTube thing here right and uh, yeah and people who know who, who've been doing that know this uh, you just click on that and you add that to your destination file and basically and that's how it becomes over here you can just do it here so YouTube Facebook that is a new way of doing it putting it to your desktop that is a new way of doing it and I guess just that's the way it is and we, gotta, we all have to play together in the sandbox so that's how it is all right guys so i just want to bring this quick uh, tutorial on uh, final cut uh, pro uh, the update uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe appreciate you watching uh, your review channel as always check out all my videos check out everything below also leave some comments down below if you have a different way of doing it let me know Maybe I don't know, uh, or a different a different uh, way of uploading, uh, exporting it. What do you use? I use compressor. Do you use directly from uh, from a Final Cut? Uh, just uh, give me some ideas. I appreciate that. Also help share with the community. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to share it along with everyone else because this just happened. I think two days ago. And I was working on this project and like, hello, where is it? It's gone. So <laughs> that was it. All right, guys. I appreciate it as always. And I'll see you at the next review.